Hi, my name is Mike Springer. My family moved to Mongolia in 1999, where I have been serving as the director of the Ulaanbaatar Missionary School. Mongolia is the land of Genghis Khan. In 1921, it was the first country assimilated into the USSR. It was considered the most closed country for 70 years until 1991 when it opened up. When it opened up, there were only five known Christians in the country. The country is primarily a Buddhist country, but certainly the underlying driving force for most Mongolians is animism, coupled together with shamanism and their own brand of folk Buddhism. In 1990, while I was working at Trinity Western University, God gave me the opportunity to work with seven different student leaders. Five of these guys had grown up overseas as missionary kids. Uh, hearing their testimonies, uh, really, uh, God used them to convince my wife and I that uh, he was leading us to work with missionary kids overseas. Over the next nine years, uh, throughout many different experiences, uh, God continued to lead us that direction. And in 1999, uh, we heard about this position uh, of the, being the director of the school here in Mongolia. And in September of 99, we all packed our bags and headed to Mongolia. One of the main reasons for attrition in the missionary community over the last 30, 40, 50 years is the fact that many families don't feel their children are being taken care of on the field. Uh, many families are deciding that they would rather not send their children to boarding school. And yet, what are the options? Here in Mongolia, we have been affirmed over and over. Many parents and families telling us that they are able to stay here as a family in the country of Mongolia because of um, the ministry of our family and the care that we give, the, the teaching that we are able to give their children. And so we are very thankful that God has been able to place us in a, a, a situation where we really feel that as support missionaries, we can enable others to be more productive, to feel like they're being taken care of better on the field. One area that God has been so gracious to our family has been that we have been able to open our home to so many people here and our family truly believes that they are called to Mongolia together and so our family has been able to minister to many Mongolians and foreigners probably almost every day of the year we have Mongolians into our home and they are able to see a family um, hopefully that is displaying um, love and uh, trust and um, kind actions towards each other, something that the average Mongol has probably never known in, in their situation growing up. Most Mongolian houses are filled with distrust and uh, abuse. And so for them to come to our house and to see uh, a family that loves each other is a real testimony and a ministry. So we're very thankful for that. With those who are in support ministries uh, overseas, especially in education, there isn't much opportunity to work with the nationals or perhaps in more uh, strategic church planting situations. God has been very gracious to our family to allow us to be involved in the church planting effort here in Mongolia. We have the opportunity to uh, not only meet together in church with our Mongolian uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, but we also have an opportunity to teach and to train them. We are able to occasionally run seminars about basic biblical concepts, worldview issues, just, just simple things like how to be a better mother and father, how to be a, a better spouse, how to live as a Christian in the workplace. So we have had the opportunity many, many times to, to just share uh, what we believe uh, the Bible teaches about these different issues with our Mongolian brothers and sisters and so we are very thankful for that. As you think about Mongolia and as you think about our family, we would sure appreciate your prayers for this country and for our ministry here. And we want to thank you for all the support that you 
have given and continue to give.